Hello there. My name is Ola Tunji Shobodo. Have you been grappling or struggling with a lack or a need in your life? Is there a need that appears to be perpetual? And you may have done so much, maybe even all you know to do to address. Yet that need lingers. It's not a problem for you to have a need. Life is about needs. In life, we all have needs. At every point in life, needs arise. But needs are meant to be met. Yes, they are not meant to linger. When needs linger, then there's a problem. And when needs linger, it means that there is poverty in that area. Every time we grapple with perpetual lack in an area is poverty. All right, is poverty in that area. And you may be worried hearing about recession, left, right, and center. What if? I have been grappling with these needs. What happens when recession fully sets in? Not that I believe that the recession prophecy is real. However, there is no better time than to seek to address your need than now. There is a provision made already for everyone to meet their needs. That's one of the beauties of life. Yes, there is a provision. And it's just one thing that you need to do. Just one thing that you lack in order to redress that lack. Indeed, that perpetual lack that you're grappling with. And that one thing, that one action is expressed in a simple three-letter word. It is spelled A-S-K. It is pronounced, yes, you get right, ask. Ask. Can it be that simple? Yes, it is. Ask and you will receive. Seek and you would find. Knock and the door will be open to you. For everyone who seeks, finds. And everyone who asks, receives. Everyone who knocks. To them, the door would be open. Do you qualify in that group called everyone? Yes, you do. So that provision applies to you. The problem is maybe you have forgotten it. Or maybe you've tried it and it's not working. Yes. It's not surprising. We're told two scenarios can apply. One is you don't ask. You don't receive because you don't ask. That's the first. The second scenario is you don't receive even when you ask because you ask a miss. Either way, it is not having regard for that solution to your need. It is not having the capacity to exercise that solution. And so people need help. Maybe you need help. But even if you didn't, this will benefit you. So join the Ask to Win Challenge. It's a five-day challenge where we'll be exploring this solution to every lack. Where we'll be empowering ourselves to meet our needs whenever they arise at this five-day practical action-oriented challenge. You will build the capacity to ask. You will update and upgrade your asking skills and you will build the competence to meet your needs whenever they arise. So perpetual lack will become a thing of the past. It's time for you to take responsibility 
to take the driver's seat of your life. It is time to be the one who determines the outcomes that you desire in your life. It is time to stop living in the realm of perpetual luck. It is time to move your life to a new trajectory where you have what it takes and you do what it takes to resolve every need whenever they arise. The Ask to Win Challenge offers you that opportunity. It is loaded. It is action-oriented. Five days, and you will remember it for the rest of your life. My name is Ola Tunji Shobodu. I would be the anchor over the five days. And I promise it's going to be a great way to begin the new year. I'll see you there.